Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello. Welcome to Your Beer Sucks. I knew it. I'm John. That's Andrew. That's Miguel Sanchez. That's Miguel Sanchez. Am I? Wow. Not to be confused with Lionel Hutz. Yes. No. Can't get the two confused. No. Um, we're going to drink beer. Oh. And you're going to watch. Uh. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Mike isn't really fond of this beer thing. I see some... Really verbose ad copy. Yeah. Oh, God. oh boy. I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway. But that's not this beer. That's not this beer. That's not this beer. This is this is beer number one. This, what am this beer, Mike? This beer is semi-verbose. This beer, my best guess at it, is something like Ulrich Altbier. That's my best guess at pronunciation. Sure. Yep. Tell I us took more. German and I don't even know how to pronounce that. Of all German beers, Ulrich Alt has the highest content of bitter constituents. Much can be said for the United States political system. In spite of, or maybe because of, this, our legendary alt beer from Dusseldorf. Aha! There was a vampire from there. I knew it. Through people in tubs. Full-bodied, aromatic, and agreeable, blah, blah. Our top fermented specialty has been brewed since 1862. Now, I wonder if that means this beer has been brewing since 1862. This particular one in this bottle. And is made of barley malt, caramel malt, roasted malt, humble hops, water, and our unique Elige yeast. Our Elige alt regularly ranks amongst the top 10 beers of Germany. It has an alcohol content of 4.7% ABV and a minimum shelf life of eight weeks. Okay. Well... How does it drink? That's a fancy. Oh, it look. It looks like a Grolsch. It kind of does. I wonder which, if it's, I wonder which, if it's better than a Grolsch. Which we have to do that on the show at some point. It's got to be better than Grolsch, right? Ooh. I'd like to think well, that it's. I think I can get a little, a little bit more in that out of this bottle. Oh my God. Is it Ermagerd? It smells like a stout. Does it? it smells quite a bit like a stout. It's got like the chocolatey notes and the nutty notes, and I mm. think I gave Mike too much. Yeah, a little bit. Pour me a little of that. Proceeds to pour it all over the table. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. So yeah, beer. that is. It does kind of smell study. It smells like yes. a mix of stout and porter. Okay. Yeah, because it's got that porter tangy thing going. It's very strongly. I think it's more porter, has like more the soy sauce stout. thing, definitely. But it's got that roastiness of a stout. It does, and the soy sauce thing. The mm-hmm. soy sauce thing definitely. It's a uh, really, really nutty. Hmm. That's what they said about me. <laughs> mm. Man, that's a very sweet beer. Mm-hmm. Toffee. Holy shit! That's a sweet beer. It's very sweet. Not not too sweet. It goes from like cotton candy to like caramel mm-hmm. as it goes to the finish. Mm-hmm. It, it, it mellows out a little bit on the finish at least, yeah. though, which is it's okay in my book. It's buttery. Yes. It's buttery like a, a good southern tear. They should pour this over ice at those Hawaiian shaved ice stand things. Mm. Do those things still exist? Yes, they, they were, do. They were big shit in like 1996. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we had like None, and then we had like five of them yeah. at my hometown mm-hmm. in New Jersey. It's like, oh, and then just all these Hawaiian and then Italian ice places just popped up out of nowhere. Lots of nice uh, roasty bitterness, too. Like burnt toast. You know what? This is, uh, this is pretty good. This is a 4.7% ABV beer Yeah, that has a pretty damn big body. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, it's... it has a lot of the flavor complexity of good stouts and porters, and even some characteristics of imperial stouts, if you ask me. Mm. Yeah. So this is... But it doesn't have any chalkiness. No. No chalkiness. This is black fucking magic right here. Yeah, is what this, this is, is really good. Yeah. This is voodoo. Very well done. I like it. Top 10 beers of... Well, we haven't had... Have we had 10 German beers on the show? I believe we have, but not necessarily like 10 reputable ones. Yeah. Um, so what? what's the deal with this beer? Is it like $15 a bottle? No. This was, what, 5 bucks for this? That's it? So That's not bad. 12-ounce bottle, 5 bucks. Um, I'm sure if you bought it en masse, it's, uh, it would be cheaper. Still. It, it's incredible. It's very good. Uh, 11.2 ounces. It's really good. It's a... Uh, I wish it it's were. got hops on it too. Like the hops it on it really like make me think of like I like some, the hops. like red IPAs. I really like the yeah, hops. Yeah, it kind of does say, have that vibe. They say that it's Umbil hops, so I guess I like Umbil hops. That's rare that you not only put up with hops but say I like these hops. Yeah. So they kind of remind me of like Osmati rice, that kind of popcorny thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I bet you that's what's contributing to the butteriness almost. I wonder if that's mm-hmm. what that is. What if that's well, the secret? The butteriness if, at least has to partly come from the malt because that's yeah, mouthfeel. Yeah. yeah. This beer is... Mm. This is a really good fucking beer. Yeah. Really well, the, ad, the ad copy hyped it up, and I'd say it definitely lived up to those expectations. Good job, Klaus. Yeah. <laughs> smells, yeah. Smells wonderful, tastes wonderful. The finish is long... And just keeps paying off, unfolding. Yeah, I really like the finish on this beer as well. Mellows out in terms of the sweetness for sure. Yeah, it goes to more of a bitter thing on the finish. And mm-hmm. this is easily the malt in... is just so huge. Yeah, this is easily in my top three hundred beers. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Probably top one hundred, maybe top fifty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's up there. Yeah, very well executed. That's uh, a good fucking beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's this shit makes it worth it. I'm glad to know that there's a beer with that much flavor complexity that's not like 11 percent ABV. Yeah, right. yeah. This one gets you fucked up. I love bad. imperial stouts. I love the experience of sitting and sipping, even though it's hard to have enough self control to sip. Mm-hmm. You know, you end up drinking them quickly because they're so good. But then you get fucking soused. Mm-hmm. You get shit housed. Yeah, my, you drink like. Doesn't like how it feels to be shit housed. I really don't. I don't. Pills. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shit housed on like alcohol? Mm, no, not really. Yeah. Not really your thing. Mm-mm. All right. Uh, doesn't suck. That? Yeah, whatever. That, yeah, it doesn't suck. It's at times beer. like this, I wish we had something more in our toolkit than just doesn't suck. Yeah. This is one of those times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Beer number two. Samuel Adams, Sam 76. And I bet it's not going to be nowhere near as cool as Interstate 76. Mm-mm. Comment below if you remember that game. By experimenting with both Lager and Ale yeast strains, the brewers at Sam Adams came up with a concept for a brand new beer, Sam 76. This truly unique brew takes two active fermentations and blends them together to create a deliciously harmonious result. This process delivers a distinct flavor and showcases the slight fruitiness of an ale with the balanced drinkability and smoothness of a lager. Sam 76 will surprise any craft lover with its huge flavor and aroma along with a light body refreshing Christmas. At just 4.7% ABV, this brew is perfect for those sessionable occasions. Cascade, Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Galaxy Ops impart a tropical citrus aroma that gives way to a bright, ci- juicy citrus hop flavor, but without the hot bitterness. It goes on and on. There's more. The brewers have been experimenting for over a year, tested over 60 iterations with multiple combinations of 12 different hop varieties in the Nano Brewery in Boston in order to perfect the Sam 76 recipe. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like trial and error to me, not not honing something. Yeah. 60 iterations? Does that sound like throwing darts at a board to you? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> let's try this. <laughs> nope. Let's try this. <laughs> nope. And on the 60th one, they're like, all right. Okay, I'm tired of this. (laughs) 
Don't you, we think, can't don't afford, you think 57 was a lot better? Uh, no. Whatever. We can't afford to keep 60 is a round more number. darts at the board. we got to That's a prime fucking number. package this shit, sell it, and get oh, some that's, money back. That is not a prime number. Even tw- what? 57, that's not a prime number. Uh, Divisible f- by 53 three. 53 is. Yeah, 53 is a prime number. 57 That is. smells really hoppy for being 12 IBUs. 12 IBUs, and it smells like a fucking IPA. Yeah, this smells like an IPA. Well, it's going to be an aromatic one. It won't be bitter, I can tell you that. No? How is it? But it smells like. Do we have to? It smells like musty do we have to citrus it? fruit, like yeah. musty tangerines. Tangerines that have been sitting around in a cellar for a while. Yeah. Do and cobweb. Do, do we have to taste it? Yeah. Yes, you do. Shit. Wow, it, there's nothing there. It doesn't taste like anything at all. Actually, it's hop water. You know what it tastes like? A little bit of hop. It tastes like when someone had like a, a cola, like a soda, Coca Cola, mm-hmm. whatever. In particular, cola, and it's all gone except for a tiny little bit, and then all the ice melts, mm-hmm. and then you take a sip of it later. That's what this beer tastes like. Yeah, that's. It's like if they did that, did like a hop version of Seven Up, and did that with it. Well, to me, the hops come across like the bitterness of the of the cola, of the carbonated water. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of the actual carbonated water, and to me, this very much tastes like club soda with some bitters in it. This is bullshit. Yeah. yeah. 60 iterations to come up with this, huh? You I mean, what, it's not, it's I not think offensive. I think we're well but within the realm. But it's also not it's, good. It's mediocre minus two. Have you ever yeah. brewed a beer before? I have brewed beer. Did it, you know, was it any good? I, no. Okay, so have you ever <laughs> brewed beer before? I have brewed shit before. Okay, you? No. All right, I haven't brewed beer. 60 iterations? You know, I, you know, I, we're in the wheelhouse now. 60 iterations of I think we could do better, and we don't know what we're doing. And we get this. You could just put us in a room with some rice and some barley and some, what else? You know, other beery stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like what, sugar and antifreeze or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think we can come up with something that at least... Some printer toner. That at least is a beer. lubricant. That's the thing about this. This sound... Yeah. There's really nothing to it. You know, some of the abortions that I've brewed... What did you guys do? Hop water? I mean, that's um, kind of what it tastes like. They've at least been interesting. <laughs> this is They've not. at least been conversation pieces amongst the people who... Oh, look have, at that. They at least it's exist. It's got eyes. Yes, it does. They at least existed. Or those could be titties. Those could be titties. But, yeah. you know... I mean, yeah, look. No, no, no. Okay, so you kind of like see like the arm off to the, off to the left. Mm-hmm. Kind of something there off to the right. That's... I see it. I can brew pretty damn good mead, but I'm awful at brewing beer. I wonder what that says. I haven't even tried in the This decade. Rorschach test. <sighs> Whatever. Looks like a Shoggoth to me. Could be, but you know I'll what? I'll imagine that. This beer sucks. This, it does. This it's, beer doesn't beer. This beer. It, yeah, that's the biggest problem. It doesn't beer. And you but know what? Beer once again, be... boys. Once again. Giantly verbose ad copy covering. They knew. Yeah. They knew this was bullshit. Yeah. This is bad. This is bullshit. Sink it. This isn't even a a bad execution of a beer. It's just, it's a goddamn scam. Beer number, the last one. Terrapin Luau Knuckles. Crunkles. Oh. Crunkles found his way to the islands of Hawaii, where he rediscovered his favorite fruit blend, passion fruit, orange, and guava. Does guava even grow there? Yeah. It does? Mm-hmm. The pineapples? Mm-hmm. I just assumed pineapples didn't. Because yeah, everybody's like, Hawaii, pineapples. So I assumed someone would be like, no, actually no. No, on the one they've got the dull pineapple plantation. I like pineapples. I love pineapples. I, bu- I like pineapples enough I bought one of those little spiral cutter things. When I was a kid, I went to the dull pineapple plantation, mm-hmm. and uh, they had water fountains that uh, pineapple juice came out of. I would hate to be the motherfucker who had to clean those nozzles every day. Yeah, because all, all that sugar gets stuck up in there. Imagine how fucking black those things get at the end of a day. Yeah, awful. Fuck that. I wouldn't drink out of those things after about halfway through the day either. Just uh, 
<laughs> PSA. Luau yeah. Crunkles is his newest creation for his friends here at Terrapin. So we haven't been able to figure it out, but our best guess is that Crunkles is this goddamn turtle. Maybe. I don't know. I think that's the logical conclusion. But I went to their stupid website, and it didn't really say anything about the turtle. Crunkles.com? Yeah, Crunkles.com. This is new to me. Not to be confused with oldsploshers.com. I've been drinking various uh, Terrapin beers for uh, more than a decade, and I don't remember this Crunkles shit. So Yeah. Turtle. All right, let's have us. A hey, it does seat. kind of sell, smell like a turtle cage. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, it sure doesn't smell very tropical. I mean, a little bit. I guess I get a little pineapple. Yeah, I get that. But I mostly get IPA. But I will say that it's got some of the soy sauce thing that you get on a lot of really good IPAs. Yeah, it's it's a little bit savory. Remember, kids. According to Porn Industry Insiders, pineapple juice makes your semen taste sweet. I don't know. Are those uh, studies peer reviewed? One hundred percent anecdote. Huh? Uh, wow, yeah, this has so- some. This has some actual fucking uh, malt to it. And, it does. Uh, I bet that's why it's got the whole soy sauce thing going. Yeah. And it, when it first hits a palate, it's like, wow, this is really sweet. And then it's like, no, it's not. I was like, ah, 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 no. I kind of like that. But it's this beer is kind of skookum for an IPA. Yeah. This is this IPA doesn't piss me off. Good job, guys. It's not bitter at all. No. It's a uh, a skookum. Mhm. It's medium bodied. It's a uh, I'm not getting much of like the fruit they're talking about. Like the IP I mean the pineapple I can smell it. Yeah. But nothing else really comes through on the palate. It's more the hops than anything. Yeah, I think, I think. like hops just dominate everything like you would kind of expect. Yeah. Not bad, though. kind of like it. This is GD drinkable. Yeah. It's, um... Yeah, I'm not getting guava. not getting passion fruit. Orange no. juice. I'm not getting any... I'm getting more hops than fruit. anything. I'm not no really getting... fruit at all. You get that... It's on the nose, sort of. But on the actual palate, I'm just getting more hops and some of that malt there. Which the is hops. nice. And oh, the and hops you know what? Isn't particularly citrusy. It's more piney. Mm-hmm. The coriander taste is pretty strong in this one too. Yeah, I get that. This is not what I was hoping it was Definitely going to be. Getting pine resin and a little bit of ammonia, but not enough to piss me off. Yeah, no. And this is this I'm beer sure. is not as advertised, but I still like it. I honestly think that I would hate it if it were as advertised. It does taste a little bit like soldering flux. Yeah. If, like, all of that shit just sounds like it belongs in a tiki drink, not in a beer. Yeah. This tastes like a fucking beer. It tastes it like a good medium-bodied, darkish IPA. It tastes like a B-I-E-R. B-I-E-R beer. Mm-hmm. Not B-E-I-R. No, that'd be Bayer. Mm. Bayer. I'm sure some people pronounce it that way. Bayer. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I, I, I know people who pronounce it that way. Do you think people in Germany pronounce it that way? Mm-hmm. No. Beer, B-I-E-R. Beer. But this is good. I finished it, and I would buy more of this. Yeah. Terrapin Luau Crackles. Happily buy more of this. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. I hate this fucking beer. No, it but doesn't. It's, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Does not suck. Doesn't suck, yeah. This is... <laughs> <laughs> you just hate giving an IPA credit. I do because it's a, it's a low class, overdone, uh, overdone, awful uh, style that is just for the filth. But every now and then, one comes along and convinces you, and you go, you know oh, what? Okay. This can be beer. Mm. Well, not all shits smell as bad, you know. Some shits are inevitably going to not smell quite as bad. Not quite as bad, but I've never smelled a shit that smelled good. This is true. You've not been trying, friend. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> well, yeah, Terrapin Luo Crunkles doesn't suck, and that's gonna it's gonna do it. But Mike still, even though he gave it, it doesn't suck. He did not nope. drain his glass. No, he didn't. But yeah, that's it for today. Tune in next time, and just remember that life is too short to be caught drinking Sam Adams seventy six, Sam seventy six, whatever the fuck it was. Just don't do it. Interstate seventy six. Yeah, drink German beer. Bye.